Welcome to Knock Bro Nation. Welcome back guys, I'm Jarrell. And I am Josh, and today we're here to have a Fear the Walking Dead Season 6 discussion. And that is, what are the big plans and changes that we're going to see in the upcoming uh, half, Season 5B half, and then leading into Season 6 of Fear the Walking Dead? Yeah, the showrunners, uh, Andrew Chambliss and Ian Goldberg, they have teased a big change in that it is going to reinvent the show for Season 6. So uh, they were uh, giving an interview when they gave some comments at San Diego Comic-Con, so we're going to read those comments for you guys. But uh, from what we've read on this, it's it they're going to be doing something pretty big, and it's going to be interesting to see how that's going to turn out in Season 6 and it, the end of this season as it well. It certainly sounds like it. Um, I'll read the first part. Yep, yep. Uh, so this is Andrew uh, Chambliss and Ian Goldberg talking about, these are the showrunners obviously for Fear the Walking Dead talking about the uh, recent news. Without giving anything away, the world is going to expand in a big way, and by the time we get to the end of the season, it's really going to shake the entire group to their very core and really change the show in a way that will launch us into season six in a really big way. Uh, Chambliss set at Comic Con, uh, San Diego Comic Con. So, yeah. um, before we go into the next part, let's talk about that for a little bit. Um, what I mean, season six, obviously, they renewed for season six, yep. Um, but uh, yeah, that that sounds really interesting. The big thing here is, of course, you know, Scott Gimple is is mass has said so many times that they're going to expand The Walking Dead, expand The Walking Dead, spinoffs, other things. People are like, are they going to merge Fear into The Walking Dead? Now, a couple of the actors, uh, Jenna Elfman, who plays June, she actually responded to them saying, what if they did merge Fear the Walking Dead into The Walking Dead? And she actually is not for it. She was like, look, if you merge Fear into The Walking Dead, right now it's two shows. If you merge it, it's one show. And there are a lot of actors in that show. Too you many. Would, you, she was like, you would have to wait weeks to see one of your other favorite characters because yeah. of the story they would have to tell, and you're not going to see everybody. I mean, let's take a so, prime example of yeah. that, and that is Game of Thrones. There were tons of characters in Game of Thrones. And actually, there could have, there could have been hundreds more. Yeah. Um, and there would be episodes where you wouldn't see a particular character and you know you'd warp from one house to another you'd almost have to do that with the walking dead if they were to merge the shows and i i to be honest i just don't think that that fits i'm kind of against it you I know it, it it needs the reason that fear has been successful and people are saying well it's, they're not successful well they are they're going into season six yes season four wasn't great one and two, people are kind of like back and forth. People love season three. Season three was a great season. But it's like, it's kept, you know, I think I've mentioned this so many times. It's it's separated for a reason. Walking Dead yeah. has its thing. It's based off the comics. Fear is not based off any comic book material. It's based off of yeah. parts of it. And then let's just change it up a little bit and make it our own. Yeah, I mean, believe it or not, uh, Fear of the Walking, Walking Dead, I think, was getting an average of three to four million Something like that. Peep I can't viewers, remember the, yeah. an episode. Um, and, uh, I mean, I could be off on that number. It might be a little bit lower. But regardless, um, it is a good show for them. Because when you stack that show compared to AMC's other shows, Fear beats it beats them out. Oh, the yeah. only thing, obviously, that Fear is not winning up against is it's the flagship program, The Walking Dead. And that's just right. not going to happen. So, with yeah. that said, of course AMC is going to keep it around. Yeah. For sure. So uh, they continue on to say, we're constantly striving to change what fear is and reinvent it. So just as soon as everyone thinks they found out what we're doing, we change things up and that's going to continue through season five. <laughs> there will be a big change at the end of season five. That, 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 that's big to hear. That is big to hear. Yeah. I, I mean, know. Is that it... tells us there's something huge coming. Now... We'll get into predictions later, but, I mean, I'm not really... F is there going to be a big death? You know? Do you really have to continue to kill off characters to make the show successful? No. To me, no, you don't. No. You have to make sure the writing is good and the story flows really well. You can have some side deaths of people dying, but it's like... You've already killed off two major characters of what fear was about. Hey, hey. You know. Maybe. Potentially one of them. Uh, <laughs> one of them may not be. But anyway, we have, we have another video on that. Yeah. But um, you don't need to kill everybody, you know? And, I mean, even The Walking Dead has shown this by certain characters in that show who have outlived their comic book 
era. But, well, I mean, Morgan is a you know? is a prime example of that. Um, the fact that he has outlasted. Yeah. I mean, Morgan was supposed to die in all out war. Carol. Oh, well, there you go, right there. That is a that is a better example <laughs> because Carol was supposed to die in the prison. Yeah. Um, so yeah, a number I, of I characters. Completely too. agree with you. But the but. thing that I that bothers me kind of about that is when we begin to consistently reinvent the wheel here and, yeah. and switch things up, we lose some aspects of the show. Like, take for example the whole dam thing. What the hell happened after the dam? <laughs> from from our group going, I, I figured that's know, what you were talking about. Yeah. That's like the whole damn thing, like <laughs> the whole damn thing, the whole damn show. No, yeah, no, I'm like sure. the 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 dam, as in Hoover Dam. Right. Um, what happened after that? Like we went from that they end just season, went away from it. Uh, Pro, was it Proctor John or Pro- uh, Proctor John? Yeah, yeah, nothing, 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 nothing. So Alicia went to Dallas with him, mm-hmm. and nothing, nothing. How did Nick and Luciana, how did he find her? I have no idea. Yeah. After the dam. And, I mean, and that's <laughs> what you lose when you so-called reinvent. reinvent. Yeah. Um, you left. You leave things. You leave some some plot holes in there that you're wondering. Okay, what happened? And if they never revisit it, then it's just like. And there's no reason at this point. There is no reason for them to go back and explain what happened to our no, group now. during that timeline because it's over. It's I mean, over with. It's it's been over for quite some time now. So now that Madison and Nick aren't there, it's kind of useless. Yeah, you know, there's no and there's no need. Yeah, I mean, so, so yeah, really interesting. Um, we got one more part, right? Yep. All right. Yeah. So uh, they continue on. We really see season five as one big epic story. But as you'll see, if you continue to watch, I love that, <laughs> if you continue to watch, it all builds up into an ending very much that sets up the design uh, of season six. What that design is going to be, we've been planning for a while. So I kind of messed that up. But yeah. Um, so uh, that's good, though. I mean, because like they're, how the season five is going to end is the setting up the design of season six. And of course, we're going to be trying to analyze that, trying to figure out, okay, this is how it ends. How is this going to roll over? So that's going to be very interesting to see where the second half leads us and where things are going to be going. So it, it's... Yeah, it sounds like they've know. had this season six plan mm. for a, quite some time. Oh, yeah. It, it sounds like that. And, and naturally, you would. I wonder how long they've had it planned and what it is because I can't wait. I mean, this has got me pumped for the second half. They probably have had it planned and then, of course, they have to go through the whole business thing of... You know, can they get it renewed? You know, they're going to look at viewership. They're going to look at money, all this other stuff. So I'm sure they have maybe, I wouldn't say many seasons in advance, but I'm sure they have a a good majority of it. Yeah, I mean, I think you'd have to plan for contingency, right? Like, you know, you can't just say, well, I think we're going to get canceled at season five. So let's not even start on season six. No, they're going to continue as much as they can. uh, Interesting news. Uh, Let us know. Are you pumped to see the second half of season season five after hearing this? Because absolutely, look, wasn't the best half of a season but after hearing this, I'm kind of excited to see what they have in store for us. Yeah, I'm, I mean, the biggest things I'm excited for, you know, is just figuring out, okay, um, we've got some plot holes, some story, you know, tie-ins that we need to figure out. We have uh, these tapes, you know, are the group going to continue trying to help people by the end of the season? Or are they sure, going to be like, right. are they just going to be like, we've helped as much as we can, let's stop. But I think as their mindset right now, they're not wanting to stop. They want to continue. So if you haven't checked out the Althea Tapes companion series, that is a small companion series showing Althea interviewing people prior to meeting our group. We're doing reactions on that. We do apologize if some of you who are overseas can't get access to that. We do know AMC blocks some of that material in other countries due to probably their licensing and things that are over in other countries. So we do apologize. But um, those are really cool to check out. And um, maybe we'll see some of these characters... In season 5B, if not, maybe it's just kind of a giving an idea of what Al has been going through and her journey as to wanting to help people. So, yeah, which is pretty cool. I think there is one more video to go for those out the tapes, so it'll be interesting to see who that is, <coughs> Sherry, um, and then uh, line up into the second half. So this Sunday, yeah, we're, uh, we're pumped. We're pumped, guys. So leave the video a quick like. Feel free to subscribe. Hit the bell. Follow us at Knocker Nation on Twitter and Facebook. Stay tuned for more Fear of the Walking Dead Season 5 and Season 6 news. I'm Jarrell. I'm Josh. We're Knock Nation. We're, We're out. out.